You're not doing the intro? I'm doing it apparently. Yes. Okay. So welcome to another episode of The Bottom Line and we are going to be covering AMD's new graphics cards. More leaked stuff actually. Not More necessarily leaked like announced yeah. graphics cards. They did announce a graphics card a little while ago which is... What was it that? Fine ninety. Oh, there was an RX five ninety, which, which kind of went under the radar. Yeah, like it's like Nvidia's GDR five X ten sixty, which nobody really knows it's out there, but it's there. Yes, we we'll talk about this on a different episode. Yeah. Um. So these were also leaked, like the process that we talked about earlier, also leaked by Adobe TV. Um. So they seem to have got their hands on a few things from uh, CES twenty nineteen, which is happening in January. So um, these point to Essentially, the new AMD, these are based on Vega, right? These are actually based on Navi. Navi. So, um, AMD are supposed to launch three new graphics cards, right? So, um, <laughs> they, they kind of trolled NVIDIA on their now, it's like, they're like Intel first, now it's NVIDIA. Now it's NVIDIA, like, like trolled everyone. <laughs> trolled everyone. So, to get I, everything un I understand this logic. I understand right. that logic. Um, so, three new graphics cards uh, named the RX 3080, RX 3070, and the RX 3060. So, these are essentially um, pitched at uh, RTX 2070, GTX 1070, and a GTX 1060 performance levels. So, it could be in the same ballpark, so it could be slightly higher all over. More interesting part is the price. Is the price. Right? So, the uh, RX 3080, which is uh, said to be an equivalent of the 2070, RTX 2070, is supposed to be $250. And the uh, 1070 equivalent, which is the RX 3070, is supposed to be $200. And the uh, RX 3060, which is supposed to be a GTX 1060 equivalent, is supposed to be $130. So, the 130 or 160? $130. Okay. So, this is just like, just like with the processor, this is again. A little too good to be true in actually yeah this this we did the math and we did the did how nvidia did the last generation pricing mm -hmm. and this actually sounds spot on right okay like you remember when um, nvidia went from the 900 series to the um, thousand series right? yeah. okay. so when nvidia went from the 900 series to thousand series they replaced the $450 card with a $250 card, right? They replaced the 980 with a 1060. So it is not too far-fetched to think two years later, someone will replace okay. a current $450 card, which is a 1070, 400 to 450, with a $250 card. Fair enough. $200-ish card, 400 to 200. Yeah. It's not, it's it's not it's impossible. impossible. It's not At the same time, um, I mean, AMD have been pretty silent on the architectural front for like two years, three years now. So to get, and Vega wasn't that impressive. So for them, and they're also it's pitching okay, crazy power draws. Okay, yes. they're, they're like this, like it, what's crazy is the, the, the card that's supposed to give you 1060 levels of performance is now apparently a 75 watt card, yes. according to leaks. So that means you don't need a six pin connector and you're getting a GTX 1060, which is an RX 580 level performance at $130, which means that the card is going to cost what, 25 to 30,000 bucks, 30, bucks, which yeah. is currently 1050, 1050 Ti level, not even 1050 Ti level, it's 1050, like 1050, 1050, 1050, level. 1050. So you're getting 1060 level performance, sing, no 6 pin power connector, and uh, all within, you know, a, just a new architecture just past Vega. So, I mean, if AMD... Also pulled, 7 nanometer? It is 7 nanometer, that is true. It so, is a 7 yeah. nanometer production node. So that would explain the power. That like, would explain the power. But the ability to give that much performance at a lower cost. That's so, like the lower production of seven nanometer would also mean higher clock speeds. Yes. AMD has been suffering, not suffering, but their clock speeds have been a good twenty to thirty percent lower than what Nvidia equivalent Nvidia cards have always. Like if Nvidia cards have been constantly hitting thousand nine hundred to two thousand clock speeds, right? Whereas AMD has been in thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Okay. So say if they can push that closer to two thousand. Yeah, you would see, and if there is some architectural improvements, I guess. As well. So, clock speeds, you are looking at a 20 to 25 to 30% improvement, and the architecture, say, another 20%. But they've been very silent about all this. So, it's really, like, it's 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 kind of like coming from nowhere, but maybe AMD is like really just like... Yes, so, out of, the, out of the two massive leaks, this is the one that's coming out of nowhere, but it also seems a little bit more plausible than the... We did know Navi was coming out, though. 
I mean, they we have been know. working on Navi. Worked. I think we mentioned Navi like like a couple like of months ago. Yes. Yeah. So we know that Navi has been in production for a while. So it's not like they haven't been R and D. Yes. But then we didn't expect Navi to be this good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like yes, this does sound a little bit too good to be true. But you're saying but that. But within like say ten percent. And so when you think about it, like our expectations have been set so low by a media yes. that now we think that getting what we were supposed to get is expecting too much. Like, like okay, think of it this way: like RX five seventy right now sells at a hundred and seventy dollars. Okay. So you get that performance at one thirty. That's not too far of a stretch. That is also true. Right. That's true. Like now, now we're talking five five percent slower than ten sixty. Mm-hmm. So it's not ten sixty itself, but slightly. That, that's what I'm talking about. Slightly slower, and maybe at say ninety watts. Yeah, yeah. So you that's you you take out 30 watts from a Rx570 to 40 watts. Yeah, it's actually pretty that's, believable. That's believable. I'm yeah. excited for this car. Yeah. So a lot of you are going to be getting what was previously GTX 980 level performance. Now keep in mind, 1060 can play all games full HD, ultra that's on good. most new titles at 60 plus FPS, right? Yes. By at least 40 plus FPS. Yeah. And you're getting that performance right now at about 60 to 65 thousand. So we are looking at like getting that performance at that's half the half. price. That's Huge, and I know that you guys out there. This is that card. You know, the 1050 Ti is exactly. a card that sells the most. It always like sells like five to one or three to one every other card. So you guys are going to love this card if it comes out and delivers on this performance. 1060 is our highest selling card. <laughs> That's our card. Like <laughs> it's our highest selling card because we sell a lot of high end systems. But, but the 1050 yes, Ti, is, is, it yes. sneaks its way into a lot more computers than you think, it's right? It's true. a very capable card. Yeah. So getting 1060 levels of performance at that price point is huge. And let's talk about the other two cards now. I'm right. personally super excited about 3080. Like I want one okay. if it comes. So 3080 price. is supposed to replace the 20, RTX 2070, 2070, which in turn replaced the 1080. So you're yes. getting 1080 dollar. level performance, performance at 200, 250 dollars. So you're getting like 500 dollar current card performance at half the price. It's about say. Even if they pitch their 300 dollars, like would you yeah. buy? It? Like it's a 250 dollar card today would be like uh, what 1060. Yeah. It's like 65,000 bucks ish. So get it. if you could get a card that can run almost all the games at 4K resolutions and deliver like 40 plus FPS yeah. at like 50 to 60 thousand bucks, that's insane. Yeah, that, that's that would, insane. That would be great, like like 2K 144 monitors gaming. Yeah, that, that's like perfect. As, as we know, 4K is kind of hit or miss for gaming, yeah, how like, demanding it is. Yes, so 4K, like I think even Linus did this uh, point around up recently, 4K is great for visuals. But if you are gaming and for the same price, if you can get good quality, good quality 2K point and also like 120, 140 that's, refresh rate, that's, that's like a sweet, sweet spot. spot. So if you could spend like 50, 60K less on your card, which is what this card would allow you yes. to do, you Dump could spend a lot like more on monitor. You could exactly. spend like a 75 to 100K on an ultra wide or a 27 inch yeah, 2K. Exactly. 20, 27 inch 2K, 140 is right, 75,000 points. Yeah, that's right like now. Really so that's a great place to be, man. Yeah. And that middle card. That middle card would like land itself at like what around thinking okay two hundred dollar card two hundred dollar card should be about sub fifty sub fifty yeah two hundred dollar card right now is ten sixty three gig right yeah so that's setting for about forty five thousand so you at forty five thousand and some of our ten fifty ti cards sell at forty five thousand exactly at that price you will be able to get even if it's just shy of performance on par with a ten seventy and a ten seventy right now is our recommended. 2K card, right? Yes. You can play any game at ultra, at 2K, pushing 60 FPS on the majority of titles. So, that's just like, man, if AMD just come in and they just announce their processes and then they give it to Intel and then they just land their graphics cards, and we know the RTX 2080 and the 2080i still don't have uh, competition, but that's not really what we're excited about. True, NVIDIA might still have the flagship crown. True, but this is like cards like you and me and everyone can buy. Yes. Right? It's not, yes. You don't have to spend 300,000 on a graphics card to yeah. get like the latest and greatest. Right? And they could always put two of these chips on and have dual GPU, but then given the way we are going right now, Radeon might not be. That might not be the best thing to do yeah, that right, exactly. for AMD. And the other reason why uh, we're excited to see new Radeon cards coming out is like, FreeSync monitors are now widely available, True. right? Like every brand has like a bunch of... Uh, I think more than half of our monitors are actually FreeSync, even though we don't pick it as FreeSync. It comes it because of free standard. Free sync is a standard, so if you have a new display port, you have free sync. Like yeah. Done, right? So almost all of our gaming monitors have free sync. Like Pretty much. Not, not almost. All of our gaming monitors have free sync. And uh, we also have a bunch of mid range. Um, I think Usonic had some monitors, Samsung yes. had some monitors, mid range. So you're talking about 30 to 50,000 ish. We'll have some uh, free sync monitors. So,
we'll have some mid-range gaming monitors. So uh, the other side that sh people don't talk about, it, I don't know why they don't talk about this in pricing, right? It gives higher perceived smoothness. It's not just about tearing. Like people talk about, okay, pricing, do you think it's just tearing when you hit 60 FPS? No. Um, we'll, we have a demo that you guys can come check it out, right? On RX 570. Please come check it. We have a Asus 570 yeah, running here. like a couple of uh, brand new games, right? Like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and stuff. So once you get past the freezing threshold, once you hit 40 FPS, it looks more than 60 FPS. That's right. So if you have a freezing monitor, if you have to spend 2000 bucks more on a freezing monitor, get it. You can literally get a cheaper graphics card and get better perceived performance. Yes. So. so a lot of people don't understand this because like you said, it's something that you have to see to believe. Exactly. It's like when you first see a 120 hertz or a 140 hertz exactly. for the first time, you're like, yeah, it's not really going to make a difference and you start playing on it and you can't go back to 60 hertz because yes. it's so much smoother. So what's, what Kushan is essentially saying is that you can get very close to that level of like smoothness, but like at really low frame rates, like, you know, 40 exactly. to 50, you can get like 60 plus something that would look like 70 plus. Now, a lot of you players out there are probably first person shooters. You probably have played COD, you play CS, you play Overwatch. And you know that when a title like that goes above 60 FPS, the smoothness is definitely noticeably like smooth. Like it's visually yeah. better and it just feels a lot faster. That visual fidelity you can bring to games now yeah. at about 40 yeah. FPS. Even if you're playing like a single, like the latest single play games are quite demanding, right? So instead of like dropping like one or two settings here, like instead of playing like on the highest level of like reflections, you drop one setting, then lighting, you drop a setting. So, so you get that to go from like 40-ish FPS, which is slightly started, to get to about 50 plus, 55, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to sacrifice those small things now, anymore. Right? So freezing literally fixes, patches it all up, gives all of that performance to you free. So it's it's a beautiful take. We should probably do more videos on it because it's a little yeah. confusing for people who don't understand how it works. Yes. So. Uh, yes, we'll have the demo running. You guys can drop by. Definitely come in, just check. Like, even if you guys want to just come in today or tomorrow and just, just want to check out the machine and be like, okay, what's FreeSync about? We'd love to see you guys here, so please do. Uh, and it's a huge difference. And yes. it might actually make you buy a Radeon card next time. So, yes, so wait till January. Wait see till you. January. So, huge information coming in, and we're really hoping CS, that the leaks are true. CS is going to be big. It's going to be Hopefully. big. Hopefully. Yeah, big <laughs> for him, That's for a lot of other people. These are leaks. So Take it with a pinch of salt. I mean, like, like a even of, if shovel of, shovel of salt. salt, but if even I think half of them turn out to be true, yeah. we are in for some. And God knows we are we are way overdue on like on good like news. good good graphics arts from AMD. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, and yeah, man. So yeah, we will see you guys with more updates in January. Stay tuned for the next episode.